Creating an Education and Experience page. In this video, we will be adding an education and experience page to your portfolio. This will take us on a deeper dive into text formatting options, as well as creating a header. Because this page was created outside of the template, it is a completely blank canvas. We will begin by creating a header so any site viewers know what the page has in store. Hover over the navigation bar and a little box entitled Add Header will pop up. Click this and it will add a header with the title of the page already in place. If you want to change this, just click on the text, but we're going to leave it as is. There are four banner size options to choose from. Hover over the banner and click the button Header Type in the bottom left corner. The default is Banner, which takes up about a third of the viewable page. There is also Cover, which takes up the whole viewable page, Large Banner, which takes up half of the viewable page, and Title Only, which has no background image. Google Sites has put a placeholder image in the background. To change this, hover over the header, click Change Image in the bottom left corner, and either Upload or Select Image. We are uploading an image from our computer. We've chosen something relatively simple to not take away from the content. If you hover over the bottom right corner of the image, two options appear. Remove Readability Adjustment and Anchor. The Readability Adjustment makes it easier for the text to be seen if your image is busy or complicated. Removing it will return the image to its original coloring. Clicking Anchor will pop up a box with some arrows. This allows you to change the viewable section of the photo. This way, the part of the photo that you want in focus won't be cut off. Next, we will add the education section. Your education section is the space to include both your formal and informal training and certifications. Your education is probably the most straightforward section in any resume or portfolio, but it's good to know how to prioritize the way you list your formal and informal education and certifications to achieve the most effective summary for potential employers. Check out our accompanying video for more information on this. Add a text box from the insert menu. Create a heading entitled Education. Underneath, create a second text box with two subheadings, in this case, Diplomas and Certifications. Below your titles, paste the information from your outline. We will begin formatting with the years of study or year you graduated. We will make this small text, followed by the name of the educational institution and the name of the program. Make sure that all your fonts are changed to match your theme. To emphasize your field of study, we'll highlight the diploma name and click bold. If you have any relevant certifications, such as project management or applicable licenses, feel free to include this underneath your more formal education from a college or university. Then format these certifications the same way as the above diplomas or degrees. If you want to change the way your text is spaced, click the More button next to the garbage can icon. Here you can change your line and paragraph spacing. Your experience section is the place to include any work experience that might give insight into your current skills. Everyone has a different level of work experience. So, first think about every job you've had where you've learned skills that are useful in your chosen field. If you have no formal work experience, that's okay too. Think about volunteer experience or situations where you may have learned relevant soft skills such as leadership or teamwork. Format these experiences the same way you did your education, job title, company, and timeline. Write a brief list or a sentence or two to describe the positions and what skills you gained. For more information about the type of content to include, check out our accompanying video. Once you've compiled a list of your experience, create a heading entitled Experience, then paste the first job onto your page. Depending on how this information was formatted on your source document, it will appear differently in Google Sites. We'll be formatting this information by making the work timeline small text, listing the name of the company or institution at which you worked, then applying bold to the job title. Use the bulleted list feature on the small description of the relevant duties you performed on the job. Once you've completed your formatting for the first job in your experience section, continue in the same way with two to four more. Don't feel the need to go too in-depth with the descriptions of your experience, as in the next video, we'll be creating a section to display all your projects and work samples. Click and drag your sections to resize and move them until you're happy with the layout. As with the About and Skills page, we've also decided to add a divider to visually break up the two sections. 
Here is a preview of what your education and experience section should look like when they're completed. To see yours, click the preview button in the top menu bar.